Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you where to use every key in DMZ, and also the rewards you get for opening up each locked location. Just a heads up that this information is as of Season 1, so it only includes Almazra and Building 21. For any key locations added after Season 1, I'll put links in the description below for those compilation videos. Alright, starting off with Almazra, the first key location is the ABF Antiquities Office. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the ABF Antiquities Office with no coordinates at all. Luckily, ABF stands for Albagra Fortress, so we generally know where to go. You need to go right here in G8 to the center of the fortress. After going in the front entrance, continue into the main building and go up the right set of stairs. The ABF Antiquities Office will be in the middle of the walkway. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, some cash, and some other valuable loot like 3-plate armor vests. Alright, the next locked key location is the Ahmed Grocery Store Office. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Ahmed Grocery Store in H5. Well, there are a ton of buildings in H5, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the store on the west side of the main group of buildings in H5. Head into the grocery store and you can unlock the office door in the back left of the building. Open it up and you will get a supply box, a computer, and some other valuable loot like self revives and kill streaks. The next locked key location is the Albagra Barrack, which also used to be called Fort Barrack. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Albagra Barrack in G8. Well, you're looking for a tiny area inside Albagra Fortress, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the central east side of the main fort. Coming from the east entrance, go inside this building. There are actually two doors to your right that can both be opened with this key. The first one has a gun, a supply box, and some other loot. And the one right past that also has a gun, a supply box, and some more valuable loot like gold bars. The next locked key location is the Albagra Munition Storeroom. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Albagra Munition Storeroom in F question mark. Well, you're looking for a single room in Albagra Fortress, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building on the west side of the fortress. Coming from the main gate, turn right and go through this archway. Then run across the courtyard and go up these stairs to your right. Now go through the doorway and take a left and the Albagra Munition Storeroom will be in this jail cell right in front of you. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a toolbox, and some other valuable loot like a 3-plate armor vest. The next locked key location is the Albagra Officer's Quarters. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Albagra Officer's Quarters in G8. Well, you're looking for a single area in all of Albagra Fortress, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here on the southeast side of the fortress. The easiest way here is by starting at the main entrance. Run past the giant mounted horse statue, go up these stairs to the left, and go inside the door in this metal fencing. Then take a right at the top of the stairs and head inside this doorway to the main building. Now go up one flight of stairs and go through the doorway on your left. The Albagra officer's quarters will be these two doors on your right. Opening up the first one, you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, some cash, and two guns. And going into the second room, you'll get a supply box, a gun, some cash, and some other valuable loot like vintage wine. The next locked key location is the Albagra Underground. This is one of the fortress locations that actually has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to the south part of Albagra Fortress. Coming from the road, it's this massive locked gate in the side of the stone. Open it up and you can get 14 supply boxes and 7 duffel bags if you kill all the enemies and fully explore every passageway of the labyrinth. The next locked key location is the Almazra Police Station Armory. Just a heads up that this key is going to be a lot better if you also go in with a Police Locker Master Key. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's the Master Key to the Almazra Police Station Armory in G? Well, it turns out the coordinates don't matter and you can actually use this key at all three police stations on the map. The first one is right here on the northwest side of Almazra City. The second one is over here on the far east side of Mawaza Marshlands across the river. And the final one is over here in Syed City to the southeast of the Syed City Mall. Coming from the front entrance of a police station, go up the stairs to your left and head to the back of the building. The police armory will be back here on your left. Open it up and you'll get 8 locked weapon lockers, a duffel bag, a high chance of getting a police locker master key, and some other valuable loot. The reason it also helps to bring in a police locker master key is because that's the only way to open up the weapon lockers in here. 75% of the times that I've gone into these armories I've gotten that key, but there is a small chance that you don't get one. 
each use of the police locker master key can unlock one of these weapon lockers. Open them up and you'll get a guaranteed weapon and a bunch of ammo. Alright, the next locked key location is the Al Sayed Shopping Center. This is another one of the fortress locations that has a visible icon on the map. You need to go right here on the east side of Sayed City. There are actually five different ways into this building without needing a key. You can go through various openings on the roof and also a ventilation shaft on the south side of the building. My favorite is climbing up to the roof and jumping down through this giant hole in the ceiling. Once you are inside, there's going to be a ton of heavily armored enemies, plus there's a tripwire in every store. If you manage to kill every enemy and defuse all the tripwire traps, you can get 10 supply boxes, 5 duffel bags, 9 supply crates, and 6 lockers. The next locked key location is the Al Shireen Pass Elder's Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Al Shireen Pass Elder's Room with no coordinates. Well, Al Shireen Pass is a dangerous area with tons of buildings, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the very center of Al Shireen Pass. There's actually an ascender zipline right here to the southeast that makes this very easy and safe to get to. Alright, coming from the southeast, head to the top of this zipline. Now take a left when you get to the top and run past the first two buildings. Then climb up this ladder, mantle up the metal hut next to you, and jump across to the building. Now climb up this ladder, and the Al Shireen Pass Elder's Room will be up here to your right. Open it up, and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, lots of cash, and some other valuable loot like a gold skull. Alright, the next locked key location is the Al Safwa Stoneblock Office. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Al Safwa Stoneblock Office in C4. Well, you're looking for a single building in Al Safwa Quarry, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the southeast side of Al Safwa Quarry. This is the trailer all by itself next to the field with stacks of stone in it. Open it up and you'll find a supply box, a supply crate, a fridge, and some other valuable loot like encrypted hard drives. The next locked key location is the algae covered toolbox. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to a small toolbox and that the key is covered in dried algae usually found in the waterways of northeast Al Masra in F3. Well, there are a lot of waterways in Almazra City, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this intersection of three waterways just north of the Crisscross Bridge. Jump into the water and you will find the toolbox right here next to this patch of algae. Open it up and you'll get $12,000 cash, another key, and some other valuable loot. Alright, the next locked key location is the Art Museum. This is another one of the fortress locations that has a visible icon on the map. You need to go right here to the west side of Almazra City. Coming from the east, you can get inside by unlocking this door next to the parking garage. Once you're inside, there's going to be a lot of armored enemies. If you clear them all out, then you can get two supply boxes, a duffel bag, and two computers. The next locked key location is the BC Toolbox. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to a small toolbox labeled with AM International BC in G6. The abbreviations in this description stand for Almalik International Baggage Claim. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in this giant airport, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of the airport. Coming from the highway, you want to go to the left of this giant stone monument with the golden ball on it and go in the doors right by this bus. Then go past the desk right in front of you and crouch through this hole in the wall. The toolbox will be hidden behind the conveyor belts right here. Open it up and you'll get $2,000 cash, another key, and some other valuable loot. Alright, the next locked key location is the Bank of Adal second story office. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Bank of Adal second story office in Sawa Village in D7. Well, there are a lot of buildings in Sawa Village, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of the village. Coming from the main road, head into the bank and take the stairs on your left to reach the second floor. The locked office will be right here next to the staircase. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, three computers, and some other valuable loot like an encrypted hard drive. Alright, the next locked key location is the Bank of Adal Top Story Office. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Bank of Adal Top Story Office in Sawa Village in D question mark. Well, there are a lot of buildings in Sawa Village, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of the village. Coming from the main road, head into the bank and take the stairs on your left up two flights to reach the top floor. The locked office will be all the way at the end of the hallway on your right. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a computer, and some other valuable loot like a three-plate armor vest. 
Alright, the next locked key location is Canal Apartment 103. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Canal Apartment 103 in F question mark. Well, there are a ton of buildings around the canal, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building to the south of the huge traffic circle in Almazra City. Coming from this small bridge on the northeast side of the building, go in this door right behind the blue screen. Go down the hallway on your left and room 103 will be the first door on your right. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a supply crate, two duffel bags, and a bunch of other valuable loot like gold bars. Alright, the next locked key location is the caretaker's house. The description of this key says that it's a key to the caretaker's home in D7. Well, D7 has a lot of houses in it, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the southeast side of Al Salman Cemetery. Walking along the south wall of the cemetery, it's this first house off to the right. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a fridge, a couple guns, and some other valuable loot like gold bars. Alright, the next locked key location is the caretaker's toolbox. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the cemetery caretaker's toolbox in D7. Well, the cemetery in D7 is absolutely massive, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the northeast side of the cemetery. The toolbox is actually a duffel bag that you can find five rows in from the north wall. Open it up and you will find a picture of a dog, a picture of a man, a first edition comic book, and some aged wine. Alright, the next locked key location is the Cavern Boat Dock Shack. You get this key as a reward for completing the Big Spender Tier 2 Legion mission. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Cavern Boat Dock Shack in Satik in D5. Well, there are a ton of buildings in D5, plus this one is underground, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. There are three entrances to this cavern. The first is right here by going up the river. The second is by walking into the cave right next to that at this group of five buildings. And the third is dropping in from above using this giant hole in the ground. There can be a ton of enemies in here, so take it slow and remember to armor up. Once you clear the enemies, the shack is right here at the end of the water against the cave wall. Open it up and you will find a supply box, a toolbox, a gun, and some other valuable loot like a large backpack. Alright, the next locked key location is the Central Syed Top Floor Apartment. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Central Syed Top Floor Apartment in C6. Well, there are a ton of buildings in Syed City, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building to the northeast of the gas station by the bridge. Coming from the south side, go in this door to the left and go up two flights of stairs. The locked apartment will be right here on your left. Open it up and you will get a supply box, some cash, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. The next locked key location is the Central Zaya Meeting Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Central Zaya Meeting Room in E5. Well, you're looking for a single room in Zaya Observatory, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building between the middle two domes in Zaya Observatory. Coming from the northeast, go on the other side of the fence and through this door into the building. Then open the door out of the bathroom and the central Zaya meeting room will be down the hall on your right. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, some cash, and some other valuable loot like a mortar strike. The next locked key location is the Channel 7 Editorial Department. Alright, before you use this key, just know that you do need it to complete the Flight Plan's Tier 5 Black Mouse mission. So if you plan on doing that in the future, you may want to hang on to at least one of these keys until then. Okay, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Channel 7 Editorial Department in downtown in F question mark. Well, you're looking for a single room in Almazra City, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building to the northwest of the U.S. Embassy. Coming from the south, go up this ladder on the corner of the building. Then take the zip line all the way up to the top. Now go inside the stairwell to your right and go down to the 11th floor. The Channel 7 editorial department will be on the back wall right in front of you. Open it up and you will get two supply boxes, a supply crate, five computers, and lots of other very valuable loot like gold bars. The next locked key location is the Channel 7 secure records room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Channel 7 Secure Records Room in downtown Almazra in F2. Well, you're looking for a single room in Almazra City, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the northeast corner of Almazra City right next to the highway ramp. Coming from the east, go in this door to the building and the Channel 7 Secure Records Room will be on the wall right in front of you. 
Open it up and you'll get a supply box, some cash, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. The next locked key location is the chemical storage warehouse. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the West El Safo chemical storage warehouse. Well, there are a lot of buildings in El Safo Quarry, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building at the very southwest side of the quarry. It's pretty hard to miss since it's a massive warehouse right next to the road. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, some cash, three lockers, a toolbox, a duffel bag, and tons of other valuable loot like encrypted hard drives. The next locked key location is the clock repair tools. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key with clock repair tools written on the side in F7. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in Serif Bay, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the northeast side of Serif Bay. Coming from the north, go in this doorway right below the clock tower. Then climb all the way up the ladder to your right and the clock repair toolbox will be right in front of you. Open it up and you'll get $8,500 plus another random key. Alright, the next locked key location is the control tower. This is another one of the fortress locations that actually has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to this building on the south side of Al-Malik Airport. Coming from the runway, it's this massive building with a tower on top. Open it up and you can get 11 supply boxes, 4 computers, 2 toolboxes, and 1 supply crate if you kill all the enemies and explore every room. The next locked key location is the crane control room. Alright, so you can get this key from just looting Almazra, but it's a guaranteed reward for completing the quick and dirty tier 3 black mouse mission. Before you use it, just know that you do need this key for the unearthed tier 3 white lotus mission. So if you haven't done that mission yet, then I wouldn't use this key. Okay, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Al Safwa crane control room in B3. Well, there are multiple cranes in Al Safwa quarry, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the northwest side of the quarry. It's really hard to miss since it's the only crane next to this giant warehouse on the north side of the quarry. Open it up and there's two floors that you can loot. On the first one, you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, a toolbox, the quarry operations folder, and some other valuable loot like an advanced UAV. And going up the ladder to the second floor, you'll get another supply box. The next locked key location is the deckhands toolbox. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the deckhands toolbox in E8 and that the key is rusty and covered in coastal algae. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in all of E8, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the small sunken ship to the south of Serif Bay. Coming from the north, go underwater under this wall next to the stairs. Then swim forward into the hallway and go through the first doorway on your left. The deckhands toolbox will be straight ahead right here. Open it up and you'll get $24,000 in cash. Alright, the next locked key location is the downtown post office. This is another one of the fortress locations that has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to this building on the southwest side of El Masra City. Coming from the south side, it's this massive building with a loading dock. Open it up and you can get 11 supply boxes, 7 computers, 4 duffel bags, 1 supply crate, and 2 toolboxes if you kill all the enemies and explore every room. The next locked key location is the downtown post office secure room. Just a heads up that you will also need a downtown post office key to get into this locked location. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the downtown post office secure room with no coordinates. Well, you're looking for a single room in Al Masra City, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to the post office building on the southwest side of Al Masra City. Coming from the south, jump on top of this truck and mantle up onto this awning. Then climb all the way to the top of the scaffolding to your right. Now go to the back left part of the roof and climb to the top of this ladder. When you get to the top, take a left and open this door into the post office. Then go down one flight of stairs and the downtown post office secure room will be in the hallway on the left. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, a guaranteed key to the sunken ship thieves cache, two computers, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. The next locked key location is the Enfer back room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the back room of the Enfer boutique in Syed Shopping Center in question mark 6. Well, there are a lot of stores in the Syed City Mall, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this corner by the intersection inside the mall. The Syed City Shopping Center is a locked area, but there is a way to get in without a key. If you go to the top level of the parking garage, you can walk over to the roof of the mall and jump in right here. 
There are going to be a ton of bots on the roof and inside, so go slow and make sure to kill them before moving in. Okay, so the Enver Boutique is on the second floor of the mall, right at the center section. Go inside and make sure to defuse this tripwire trap at the back of the first room. The back room will be just past that tripwire to your right. Open it up and you'll get a supply box and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. Alright, the next locked key location is the far southeastern storage closet. The description of this key says that it's a key to the far southeastern storage closet in H5. Well, you're looking for a single room in H5, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building on the southwest side of the town, just below this ammo cache. Coming from the east, go inside the building, and the far southeastern storage closet will be at the end of the hall on your right. Open it up, and you will find a gun, a duffel bag, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. The next locked key location is the groundskeeper shack. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Seaside Resort Groundskeeper Shack in E7. Well, you're looking for a single area in all of Seraph Bay, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building on the southwest side of Seraph Bay, right next to the bridge leading to the island. Coming from the buildings to the north, it's this shack all by itself next to the pool. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, three lockers, and some other valuable loot like a self-revive. Alright, the next locked key location is the Halfed Ship Bridge Cache. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Halfed Ship Bridge Cache in question mark 6. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in the Ship Bridge Tower, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here in B6 to the front of the ship on the west side of Halfed Port. Coming from the main deck, go up these stairs into the tower building. Now go to the back of the room and turn left and take another left when you get outside. Then go up these stairs and go through this door on your left. Climb up this last set of stairs and the half ship bridge cache will be around the corner on your right. Open it up and you will find $16,500 and another key to a random location. The next locked key location is the half ship first mate cache. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the half ship first mate cache in B question mark. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in half port, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the front of the ship bridge tower in B6. Coming from the main deck, go up these stairs and into the cabin. Then continue to the back of the cabin and turn left, then take another left when you get outside. Now go up these stairs and go in the first doorway on your left. Take your first left, then another right to get behind the stairs, and the half ship first mate cache will be right here in this nook. Open it up and you'll get $3,500 cash, another key, and some other valuable loot like sensitive documents. Alright, the next locked key location is the Hydro Island Computer. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Zarqua Hydro Island Computer in E4. Well, Zarqua is a very dangerous place and you're looking for a single computer, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of the island in Zarqua Hydroelectric. Coming from the northeast bridge, go into the building and the computer will be in this nook in the back left. Open it up and you will only get electrical components. This is very disappointing for a key in potentially the toughest area of the map, so I hope they replace this with a GPU or at least an encrypted hard drive. The next locked key location is the ITAC Warehouse Supply Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the ITAC Warehouse Supply Room in Halfed Port in C6. Well, there are a lot of warehouses in Halfed Port, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this huge building on the east side of the port. Coming from the railroad, run inside the building and head to these stairs on the left wall. The ITAC Warehouse Supply Room will be on the back wall of the second room. Open it up and you'll find a gun, some cash, two office cabinets, and some other loot. The next locked key location is the Kushak Construction Warehouse. This is another one of the fortress locations that has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of Al-Safwa Quarry. Coming from the east, it's this massive set of three buildings in the bottom of the quarry. Open it up and you can get 7 supply boxes, 1 supply crate, 6 toolboxes, 13 lockers, and 5 computers if you kill all the enemies and explore every room. Alright, the next locked key location is the Longshoreman's Duffel Bag. The description of this key just says that it's a key to a Longshoreman's Duffel Bag in B6. Well, you're looking for a single duffel bag in Halfed Port, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here on the platform to the east of the ship. Coming from the west, go over the sunken sections of railing and you will see the duffel bag at the very end of the platform. 
open it up and you'll get $16,000 cash, an electric drill, and a key to another random location. The next locked key location is the maintenance room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to a maintenance room and has AM International etched on the surface. AM International stands for Al Malik International Airport, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the northeast side of the airport. There are actually three different doors on the ground and one on the roof to get into this area, so it should be pretty easy to find. Starting at the south entrance of the airport, keep running past all these shops and turn right at Yum Yum Burger. The airport maintenance room will be right here on your left. Open it up and there are two floors that you can get to. The first one just has a duffel bag and a medicine cabinet. Climbing up the ladder to the second floor, you'll get a supply box, a toolbox, and some other valuable loot like a three-plate armor vest. Alright, the next locked key location is the Mauazes Cell Shop. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Mauazes Cell Shop in F4. Well, there are a ton of buildings in F4, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building, just on the west side of the bridge. Coming from the road, look for this building all by itself with an X on three of its doors. Open it up and you will get a supply crate, a computer, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. The next locked key location is the Mauazet Power Control Substation. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Mauazet Power Control Substation in G4. Well, you're looking for a single building in Mauazet Marshlands, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building on the north of the Marshlands, right above the Mauazet Resort. Coming from the east, it's this building all by itself right next to the water tower. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a toolbox, some cash, and some other valuable loot like a large backpack. The next locked key location is the Mauazet Resort Bungalow Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Mauazet Resort Bungalow Room in question mark 5. Well, you're looking for a single room in Mauazet Marshlands, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the third building from the left on the Mauazet Island. Coming from the west, go into this window and the Mauazet Resort Bungalow Room will be over here on your right. Open it up and you'll get two supply crates, some guns, and some other valuable loot like classified documents. Alright, the next locked key location is the Mauazet Resort Main Building. This is another one of the fortress locations that has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of Mauazet Marshlands. Coming from the south, it's this building in the middle of the resort complex. Open it up and you can get one supply box and two supply crates if you kill all the enemies and search every room. The next locked key location is the Mauaz Islam Discarded Cache. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the discarded cache in the southern section of Mauaz Islams in F4. Well, you're looking for a single duffel bag in Mauaz Marshlands, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this bridge on the east side of Mauazet Marshlands. Coming from the southern end, go to the first large archway underneath the bridge. The discarded cash will be right here behind this destroyed car. Open it up and you'll get $7,000 cash and another key to a random location. Alright, the next locked key location is the Mountaintop Spotter Shack. This is the key that you get by looting the Special Forces Dead Drop. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the mountaintop spotter shack in Al Sharim in G5. Well, there's a ton of buildings in G5, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the northeast side of Al Sharim Pass. This area can have a ton of enemies, but thankfully there's a zip line right here that is a really easy way to avoid all of them. Coming from the east, go to this zip line right here against the cliff wall. Take it all the way up to the top and you'll end up right next to the mountaintop spotter shack. Open it up and you'll get two guns, a supply box, and some other valuable loot like a three-plate armor vest. The next locked key location is the North Canal's info booth. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the North Canal's info booth in F3. Well, there are a lot of buildings near the canal, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here above the crisscross bridge in the middle of Almazra City. Coming from the south, go across this small bridge next to where the canal splits. The North Canal's info booth will be right here before the next major bridge. Open it up and you will get a supply crate, a computer, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. Alright, the next locked key location is the Old Lighthouse Citadel Room. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Old Lighthouse Citadel Room in F question mark. Well, that's not very specific at all, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the lighthouse on the island at the south center of the map. 
There are actually two ways into this room. If you come from the mainland, you can go through the front door and it will be in the back right corner of this first room. Or if you come from the water, which also happens to be a player spawn, you can go through this back door and it will be right here in the middle of the back wall. Unlock the door and you will find three supply boxes, a supply crate, a duffel bag, a gun, and some cash. The next locked key location is Omar's Auto Repair. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to Omar's Auto Repair in Sawa Village in question mark 7. Well, there are a lot of buildings in Sawa Village, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the northwest side of Sawa Village. Coming from the flooded street, go inside this building. Omar's Auto Repair will be this locked door to your right. Open it up and you'll get some cash, a gun, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. Alright, the next locked key location is the Police Academy. This is another one of the fortress locations that has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to this building on the east side of Almazra City. There will be armored enemies plus tripwires in here, so be cautious when going between rooms. The Police Academy actually has three different sections that you can open. The one on the south leads to a single room and a hallway that have a supply box and a duffel bag. The one in the middle leads to two rooms that have a supply box, a supply crate, two duffel bags, and two computers. And the one on the north leads to another single room and a hallway that have a supply box, two duffel bags, and four computers. The next locked key location is the Police Academy Private Locker Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Police Academy Private Locker Room with no coordinates. Well, you're looking for a single room that isn't even in the Police Academy main building, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here in the building to the southeast of the Police Academy. Coming from the parking lot to the north, go in this door on the right side of the wall. The Police Academy private locker room will be on the back wall right in front of you. Open it up and you'll get a supply crate, some cash, a master key to the police lockers, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. Alright, the next locked key location is the Police Academy server admin. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Police Academy server admin's office in G4. Well, it's actually not located inside the Police Academy, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the southeast side of the Police Academy. Coming from the north, it's this building all by itself next to the Police Academy parking lot. Go inside, and the server admin's office will be this middle room on the north wall of the building. Unlock it, and you will find a supply box, a computer, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. The next locked key location is the Police Locker Master. Just a heads up that you will also need an Almazra Police Station Armory key in order to use this key. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's the master key to the police lockers with no coordinates. Well, it turns out that you can actually use this key at all three of the police stations around the map. The first one is right here on the northwest side of Almazra City. The second one is over here on the far east side of Mawazan Marshlands across the river. And the final one is over here in Syed City to the southeast of the Syed City Mall. Coming from the front entrance of a police station, go up the stairs to your left and head to the back of the building. The police armory will be back here on your left. Open it up and you'll get 8 locked weapon lockers, a duffel bag, a high chance of getting a police locker master key, and some other valuable loot. 75% of the times that I've gone into these armories I've gotten that key, but there is a small chance that you don't get one. You have to use the police locker master key to unlock each of the weapon lockers in the room. Open them up and you'll get a guaranteed weapon and a bunch of ammo. Alright, the next locked key location is the power substation toolbox. The description of this key says that it's a key to the power substation toolbox in Al Saman in D7. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in the massive cemetery, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the structure on the south side of Al Saman Cemetery. This power substation is pretty hard to miss since it's right next to the south gate of the cemetery. Go inside and the toolbox will be on the ground in the middle of the substation. Open it up and you will get $5,000 cash, an encrypted hard drive, and another key to a random location. Alright, the next locked key location is the Quarry Workers Lost Toolbox. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Quarry Workers Lost Toolbox in B question mark. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in this giant quarry, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this spot on the northwest side of Al Safwa Quarry. Coming from the center of the quarry, go up these stairs to this blue pool of water. The toolbox will be below you all the way at the bottom of the pool. 
Open it up and you will get another key to a random location. The next locked key location is the Retro Runway Fridge. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Retro Fridge discarded on the Almalik Runway in H question mark. Well, you're looking for a single fridge at Almalik Airport, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this crater on the runway to the east of the airport. It's pretty hard to miss since it's the only crater on the chunk of runway in the middle of the water. Open it up and you'll get $5,500 cash, another key, and some other valuable loot like a 3-plate armor vest. The next locked key location is the Rohan Control Room Locker. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Rohan Control Room Locker in D question mark. Well, you're looking for a single locker in Rohan Oil, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building on the northwest side of Rohan Oil. Coming from the train tracks to the north, go inside this little room on the south wall, then go down the stairs underground. The Rohan control room locker will be at the end of the hallway on your right. Open it up and you'll get $8,000 cash, another key, and a scrawled note. The next locked key location is the Rohan Oil North Guard Shack. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Rohan Oil North Guard Shack in D3. Well, there are a lot of buildings in D3, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the north side of Rohan Oil. It's this guard shack right here by the gate. Open it up and you will get a duffel bag, a locker, a computer, and some other valuable loot like an encrypted hard drive. Alright, the next locked key location is the Rohan Oil South Guard Shack. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Rohan Oil South Guard Shack in D3. Well, there are a lot of buildings in D3, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building on the southeast side of Rohan Oil. Coming from the west, it's this building all by itself to the south of the giant oil tanks. Open it up and you will get a duffel bag, some lockers, a computer, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. The next locked key location is the Rohan Utility Tunnel Locker. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Rohan Utility Tunnel Locker in D question mark. Well, you're looking for a single locker in Rohan Oil, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this small building right here on the northwest side of Rohan Oil. Coming from the west, go past the large building to your right and go down the stairs in this small building. Then take a right at the end of the stairs and you'll be in the Rohan Oil Access Tunnels, which is a denied area with a ton of armored and riot shield enemies. Kill them and the Rohan Utility Tunnel Locker will be all the way at the end of the hallway on the right. Open it up and you'll get $24,000 cash and a scrawled note. The next locked key location is the Syed Mall Security Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Syed Mall Security Room with no coordinates. Well, you're looking for a single room in Syed City Mall, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this corner in the southwest side of the mall. The Syed City Mall is a locked area that needs a key, but there are actually a ton of different ways to get in. My favorite is by climbing up to the top of the parking garage and going over to the roof, then jumping down through this hole in the ceiling. There are going to be a ton of enemies here, so try to clear them out before heading into the building. Aim to land on the second floor, since that's where the security room is. Alright, head towards the center of the mall and turn to the right. Then keep going to the end of the mall and head into the last hallway on your left. The Syed Mall security room will be over here on your right. There can be a tripwire going across this door, so make sure to defuse it before going in. Open it up and you'll get a supply chest, three lockers, two computers, and some other valuable loot like an encrypted hard drive. Alright, the next locked key location is the Satik Guest Quarters. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Satik Guest Quarters in question mark 4. Well, there are a ton of houses in the Satik Cave Complex, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of the complex. You're looking for this house with the door in the side of the mountain just below the radio tower. Open it up and you will get a supply box, a duffel bag, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. The next locked key location is the Satik Poppy Farmer House. Okay, so this is the key that you get for completing the Robin Hood Tier 3 White Lotus mission. Before you use this key, just know that you do need it for the Espionage Tier 2 Black Mouse mission. So if you plan on doing that mission in the future, then I would save at least one of these keys. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Satik Poppy Farmer House in C question mark. Well, you're looking for a single building in the Satik Cave Complex, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building in the cluster of houses on the northwest side of Satik. Coming from the west, it's this house right here on the left side of the road. 
Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a politician's laptop, some cash, and some other valuable loot like a three-plate armor vest. The next locked key location is the Sawa Crypto Mining Farm. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Sawa Crypto Mining Farm with no coordinates. Well, you're looking for a single area in all of Sawa Village, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the southwest side of Sawa Village. Coming from the destroyed ship to the southeast, go inside this door and head upstairs. The Sawa Crypto Mining Farm will be over here to your right. Open it up and there are two rooms that you can go into. The first room just has four computers. The second room has a computer, a supply box, some cash, a gun, and some other valuable loot like an encrypted hard drive. One thing that's kind of disappointing is that there's not a guaranteed GPU. This is potentially the rarest key in the game, and it makes sense that a crypto farm would run off of GPUs, so I hope they add one in the future. The next locked key locations are Sawa Hotel Room 302 and Sawa Hotel Room 303. Thankfully, you can get into both of these hotel rooms without needing a key. Alright, so you need to get into room 302 to complete the Good Fortune Tier 3 Legion mission. Well, there are a lot of buildings in Sawa Village, so let me show you where this hotel room actually is. You need to go to this building on the east side of Sawa Village. This building can sometimes be a stronghold, so if that's the case, then you'll also need a stronghold keycard to get in. Heading inside the building, you can either use this elevator or the stairs. Go all the way up to the third floor and you will see two locked doors. The one on the left is room 303 and the one on the right is 302. If you don't have a key, then head up one more flight of stairs to the roof. You can actually skip the inside of the building altogether if you climb up a ladder on either side of the building. When you get up here, you'll see some skylights. Coming from the stairs, the one on the right leads to room 302, and the one on the left leads to room 303. Unfortunately, if it is a stronghold, then these skylights will be boarded up and you won't be able to go through them. Going into room 302, there will be a supply box, a duffel bag, a golden 50 GS, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. And going into room 303, there will be a supply box and a lot of other valuable loot like gold bars. The next locked key location is the Scientist Locker. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to a Scientist Locker in F5. Well, you're looking for a single locker in Zaya Observatory, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here between the main building and the northernmost dome in Zaya Observatory. Coming from the main building, go in this tunnel that takes you underground. Then take a right at the bottom of the stairs and the Scientist Locker will be halfway down the hallway on your right. Open it up and you'll get $8,000 cash and some other very valuable loot like classified documents. The next locked key location is the South Albagra top floor bedroom. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the South Albagra top floor bedroom with no coordinates. Well, you're looking for a single room in all of Albagra Fortress, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the middle of these buildings on the east side of Albagra Fortress. Coming from the south, go in this door to the middle building. Then go up two flights of stairs and the South Albagra top floor bedroom will be over here on your right. Open it up and you'll get a supply crate, another key, and some other valuable loot like a three plate armor vest. Alright, the next locked key location is the South Bank Apartment. The description of this key says that it's a key to a South Bank Apartment in D question mark. Well that's not very specific at all, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building across the river to the south of Syed City. Coming from the west, go up this ladder on the outside of the building. Then go in this door and head down one floor. The locked apartment will be right here at the bottom of the stairs. Open it up and you will get a supply box, some cash, and some other valuable loot like a large backpack. The next locked key location is the South Zaya Scientist Apartment. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to a South Zaya Scientist Apartment in question mark 6. Well, you're looking for a single room in Zaya Observatory, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building at the very south side of Zaya Observatory. Coming from the north, go through this doorway into the building. Then go to the middle of the hallway and head up the stairs, and the South Zaya Scientist Apartment will be right here on your left. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, a key to the Zaya Radar Dome, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. Alright, the next locked key location is the Special Forces Dead Drop. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Special Forces Dead Drop on Downtown Tower Hill in G2. Well, there are a ton of buildings in G2, plus this one is not in a spot that most people would think to look, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. 
you need to go to this area in the middle of the highway exit ramp. To get to the tower on top of this hill, you have to spiral up the outside of the rocks. When you get up top, you will see this toolbox by the north leg of the tower. Unlock it and you will get a printed document, a picture of a man, classified documents, and a key to the mountaintop spotter shack. The next locked key location is the Special Ops Relay Station. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Special Ops Relay Station in Halfetport with no coordinates. Well, Halfetport is a huge area, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this small building on the southwest side of the port. Run past the trailers and it's this last building right before you hit the water. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a computer, two lockers, some cash, and some other valuable loot like a gold skull. The next locked key location is the sunken ship Captain's Cache. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's the key to the Captain's Cache in the sunken ship off the coast of Almazra in question mark 8. Well, there are a couple destroyed ships in the ocean, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the small sunken ship in E8. Climb up onto the ship and go to the top deck. The Captain's Cache will be this duffel bag on the west side of the cabin. Open it up and you'll get $16,000 cash and a logbook. The next locked key location is the Sunken Ship Thief's Cache. Alright, so this is actually the only key in the game that is golden but doesn't have an icon on the map. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Thief's Cache in the Sunken Ship off the coast of Almazra. Well, you're looking for a single duffel bag in one of the boats in the water, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to the small ship to the southwest of Seraph Bay. Once you get here, you need to go underwater and find the front of the ship towards the west. Then dive underwater and go through this hole in the wall and the sunken ship thieves cache will be over here to your right. Open it up and you will get a golden skull worth $25,000, a laminated paper, and another key to one of the fortresses that have an icon on the map. The next locked key location is the Tarak River Supply Shack. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Tarak River Supply Shack in E2. Well, for some reason, this shack isn't outlined on the map, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here above the northernmost bridge near Tarak Village. It's this small building on the dock, right next to the bridge. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, some cash, a toolbox, and some other valuable loot like classified documents. Alright, the next locked key location is the Tarak Smuggler's Office. The description of this key just says that it's a key to the Tarak Smuggler's Office in E2. Well, there are a ton of buildings in E2, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to the building in the middle of this group, just to the west of the river. Coming from the road, go into the building and the smuggler's office will be in the back left corner of this main room. Open it up and you will get a supply box, two guns, some cash, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. Alright, the next locked key location is the Tarak Tunnels Workbench Cache. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Tarak Workbench Cache in the tunnels under the destroyed city in E question mark. Well, Tarak is a large area, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here on the east side of the village across the road from this large building. Starting from that large palace looking building, come across the street to the left side of this wall. Then go into the corner of the wall and drop down into the tunnel and the cash will be in this toolbox to your left. Open it up and you will get $8,000, a scrawled note, and a key to the Channel 7 editorial department. The next locked key location is the Tower Conference Room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Control Tower Conference Room in G question mark. Well, you're looking for a single room in Almalik Airport, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to the south of the airport inside the control tower. Since it is inside a locked area, you will need a control tower key to get in. Coming from the runway to the north, head to this entrance in the middle of the tower. When you get inside, go up the stairs right next to you and the tower conference room will be up here to your right. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, some cash, and some other valuable loot like an encrypted hard drive. Alright, the next locked key location is the traveler's luggage. You can get this key by completing the Dead Drop Tier 3 Legion mission. The description of this key says that it's a key to a traveler's luggage lock in G7. Well, you're looking for a single duffel bag in this giant airport, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this nub on the south side of the airport. Unfortunately, the section on the east side of the airport doesn't connect, so you can't use that to get here. You need to use one of the doors in the middle section of the building. Make your way to the center of the airport terminal and head to this waiting area. The duffel bag will be right here on the end of the center row of seats. 
open it up and you will get $3,500 cash, a first edition comic book, and another key to a random location. Alright, the next locked key location is the US Embassy. This is another one of the fortress locations that has an icon on the map. You need to go right here to this building in the middle of Almazra City. The US Embassy actually has three different buildings that you can open. The one on the east leads to a two-floor building that has two supply boxes, four duffel bags, one supply crate, and two computers. The one on the northwest leads to a hallway that has a supply box and a toolbox. You can actually climb to the roof and get into the southwest building without a key by using this elevator. This building has a supply box, three duffel bags, a toolbox, and three fridges. The next locked key location is the Under Freeway East Warehouse. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Under Freeway East Warehouse in G question mark. Well, there are a lot of buildings near the highway, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this building just to the south of the highway next to Maoism Marshlands in G4. Coming from the house across the street to the west, it's this standalone building right here. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a duffel bag, two lockers, a key to the Al Shireen Pass Elder's Room, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. The next locked key location is the Weapons Repair Kit. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Weapons Repair Kit in Satik Cave Complex in D5. Well, you're looking for a single toolbox in the upper caverns, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here on the northwest side of the upper caverns. The easiest way to get to this toolbox is by coming from the buildings to the northwest. Coming from the road, go in this entrance to the Satik Cave Complex Upper Caverns and follow the path to the right. The weapons repair kit will be on this table in the middle of the path. Open it up and you'll get $5,000 cash, some more keys, and some other valuable loot like an encrypted hard drive. The next locked key location is the West Zarqua Safe House. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the West Zarqua Safe House with no coordinates. Well, there are a ton of buildings in Zarqua Hydroelectric, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the west side of the river. Coming from the street, go into the building and head upstairs. The West Zarqua Safe House will be behind the second door on your right. Open it up and you'll get a lot of cash, a supply box, a gun, and some other valuable loot like a gold bar. The next locked key location is the Yum Yum Burger back room. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Yum Yum Burger back room in G3. Well, there are four different Yum Yum Burgers in Almazra City, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here in the building to the northeast of where the electric hummer spawns. Coming from the north, go in this set of doors in the middle of the wall. The Yum Yum Burger back room will be behind the counter right in front of you. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, a supply crate, three fridges, and some other valuable loot like a gold skull. Alright, the next locked key location is the Zarqua Market Storage. The description of this key says that it's a key to Zarqua Market Storage in E4. Well, there are a lot of buildings in Zarqua Hydroelectric, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this tiny building to the southeast of the river. Coming from the street, it's this small shack underneath the metal roofing. Open it up and you'll get a supply box, some guns, a toolbox, and some other valuable loot like an origami horse. The next locked key location is the Zarqua Red Village Apartment. Alright, so the description of this key says that it's a key to the Zarqua Red Village Apartment in E question mark. Well, you're looking for a single room in all of Zarqua Hydroelectric, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the southeast of Zarqua Hydro Island in E4. Coming from the main street, go in this building and head to the stairs in the back right. Then go up two flights of stairs and the Zarqua Red Village apartment will be up here on your right. Open it up and you'll get a duffel bag, a key to the Satik guest quarters, and some other valuable loot like a large backpack. Alright, the final Almazra locked key location is the Zaya Radar Dome. The description of this key says that it's a key to the Zaya Radar Dome in E question mark. Well, Zaya is a very dangerous place with five different domes, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this building on the northwest side of Zaya Observatory. Coming from the underground bunker, it's the destroyed dome right here that you may recognize as the dome map from Modern Warfare 3. Open it up and you will get four supply boxes, four duffel bags, tons of cash, and lots of other valuable loot like gold skulls. Now on to the Building 21 keys. The first Building 21 locked location is the Black Access card. The only way to get the Black Access card is by killing either the Wilson or the Velikin, which are both considered bosses. 
The description of this card says that it belongs to DRC administration staff and that it's used to access the equipment room north of the garage. Well, Building 21 is a maze, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go to this room on the north side of the first floor behind the garage bathrooms. Coming from the data center, turn to your right and take the next left at this giant crate. Then take the next right and another left and the locked black door will be over here on your right. Open it up and you will get three supply crates, a duffel bag, and some other valuable loot like a three-plate armor vest. The next Building 21 locked location is the blue access card. Alright, so there are two ways to get this access card. The first is from Almazra, and the best way to do that is by hunting supply drops. The second is by picking it up off a dead AI within Building 21. To use this card, come to this room on the first floor between the data center and generator room. Coming from the data center, go through this door in the middle of the hallway and the locked blue door will be right here on your left. Open it up and you will get three supply crates, a duffel bag, and some other valuable loot like gold skulls. The next Building 21 locked location is the green access card. Alright, so the way you get this card is by opening up any safe on the map. There's a guaranteed safe in the armory where you get the weapon case. Inside that safe, there's going to be a bunch of other valuable loot, including a green access card. There are other safes on the map too, but they don't have guaranteed spawns. The description of this key says that it belongs to the DRC logistics staff and that it opens up the storage rooms on the south side of the first floor. So there are actually three different doors that you can open up with the green access card. All three of them are on the south side of the first floor right next to the parking garage. The first two are in a maintenance room right next to the garage. Coming from the data center to the east, turn left into this hallway then go through the door to your right. The first door will be on the wall to your right, and the second will be around this corner to your left. The third green door is on the south wall of the parking garage in this little nook. All three doors have the same loot as any other locked location in Building 21. Open them up, and you'll get three orange supply boxes, a duffel bag, and some other valuable loot like gold bars. And the last Building 21 locked location is the red access card. Alright, so there are two ways to get this access card. The first is from Almazra, and the best way to do that is by hunting supply drops. The second is by picking it up off a dead AI within Building 21. The description of this card says that it belongs to DRC security staff, and that it gives access to the security room near office storage. Well, Building 21 is a maze of offices, so let me show you where to actually use this key at. You need to go right here to this room on the south side of the second floor in the office floor area. Coming from the buy station, go into this corridor and take a left. The locked red access door will be halfway down the hallway on your right. Open it up and you will get three supply crates, a duffel bag, and some other very valuable loot like self-revives. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.